I broker and own the Real Estate Advisor Group located in Slida, Louisiana. I'm talking from the real estate playbook on a term called contribution. This word comes from the appraisal community and it basically means a contributing cost to property. If you're selling your home and you want to get it to market and kind of have a quick sale, many times there's a contributing cost that's put in and you may upgrade if you've got older features in your house. This is called the contribution cost or contributing factor of a cost to your home. There's three things that this contribution cost can do. It can bring you what they call the law of diminishing return, where your input, let's say, is 5,000 and your return on that 5,000 is negative. You don't get your money back at least at a break even point or an increasing return. And of course, that leads us into the break even point as zero dollars, which is not a bad deal. Because if you contribute 5,000 and increase it, you know, your kitchen, you may put granite, undermount sinks, you may redo your cabinetry, flooring. If you put a contributing factor in there and it brings a break even point, you've served your purpose by selling your house in a quicker fashion. You got your money back out of it and you sold your house. The last one is the law of increasing return. This is basically where everybody wants to be. They want to put a contributing factor in like say 5,000 and maybe get eight or 10,000 back in a return on the, on the uh, back end sale. The only problem with these three factors that relate to contribution cost is I see many times sellers getting ahead of themselves and beginning to upgrade before, before, this is very important, before they check their local area within their neighborhood, within their area on what other homes are selling for. You've got to have enough ceiling. Your house is not going to sell any more than what is sold next door or down the street from you within the 30, 60, 90 day period. It's called the law of substitution. No buyer is going to pay more for your house than what has sold in like conformity or like manner. So what you want to do is check that first. See what has sold and, and get a price, set your ceiling, on what you owe on the property, how much equity you got, and then maintain your price below that ceiling on what's selling around you. At least you'll break even. And that's the objective. You just sell your house, you'll get your money back. And in order to maintain that ceiling, you may have to scale back on your upgrades. Look for better pricing, look for discount pricing when it comes to countertops. You may have to go with a lesser grade. Instead of quartz, you may have to downgrade it to granite. Wood floors, uh, instead of the expensive wood floors, you may have to go with the laminate or the floating type. Um, you may have to do some paint uh, work yourself. But whatever you're contributing into the property, you want to get a return on it. Okay? Again, that's called increasing, the law of increasing return. When you lose money on it, it's the law of diminishing or decreasing return. And if you break even, you've, you've had your objective achieved. You've sold your house, and that's what you want. You want to sell your house. So let me back up here. Very important. First and foremost, see what the comparables around your area are selling for first. Then build your contribution cost budget and be realistic about what you want to upgrade. That way you've got enough room when you put it on the market, you're going to be competitive with what's sold around you, plus you'll have a nice, fresh, new look. Listen, if you got any more questions about valuation, contribution cost, or how to stage and sell your home, you can call me here at my office, 781, that's 985-781-8225. I'll leave this sign up here for a few seconds when we finish, or you can contact me through welcome to slidel.com. I hope this has helped you in preparation to sell your home. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye now.